Hello friends, today we will discuss about the previous year questions. So here the first question is, in the primary response to an immune reaction, the first antibody to appear in the blood is IgG, IgM, IgA and none of these. Okay. So always remember, whenever there is a recent infection, it is mainly because of an IgM. Okay. So you can remember like MR, M is for recent infection. So here, uh, you want to remember these points in IgM. So that is a lag period is usually longer and this uh, there will be no negative phase will be there but this antibody will be produced in low values okay so and these are more specific but less avid and they are usually producing and uh, produced by naive B cells and they both T dependent and T independent antigens are usually processed by this so coming for second or first and the low one stand Jensen medium is used to, to culture which of the organism is here Mycobacterium leprae, Mycoplasma pneumoniae, Brucella abortus and Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Yes, it is a Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Uh, it is a selective medium for the Mycobacterium uh, tuberculosis. Uh, you want to remember uh, these some of the uh, selective medium like uh, for Vibrio cholerae it is a thiosulfate citrate uh, bile salt sucrose medium and for uh, salmonella and shigella it is in deoxycholate agar and the xyloslicin deoxycholate agar and for cornibacterium diphtheria it is in potassium tellurate agar and for wilson blair it is for the salmonella typhi okay so here the wilson blair it usually produces a jet black colonies will be there and in thiosulfate agar there will be in uh, yellow colored colonies <coughs> The medium will be green color and the uh, the culture will be yellow color. So coming for third question. So Q fever is caused by. So Coxilla barnetti, Chlamydia trichomatis, Rickettsia progosaki and Legionella. So obviously remember Q fever is caused by Coxilla barnetti. So the important point you want to remember here is. Uh, one, there will be uh, no orthogo transmission will be there and there will be no rashes. And so another point is it is a uh, most common organism for causing the culture negative endocarditis. So, um, so these are the points. So next is, so plague is caused by Yersinia pestis. Uh, Xenopsida chiopis, Pastrula maltosida and Yersinia entercolitica. So always remember the plague is caused by Yersinia pestis. So the Yersinia entercolitica it will be causing an Yersinosis. Okay and so some important point about Yersinia is so here the vector it is a rat flea and Xenopsida chiopis it is a most important vector in the north India. There is Astia it is usually seen in the south India. Okay so coming for the uh, the plague you won't remember there is a three types no bubonic bubonic plague pneumonic plague and the septicemic plague okay so again it is a bipolar strain will be there that is an it has a uh, safety pin appearance so these are the important points you want to remember for uh, Yersinia pestis so next it is an uh, the primary lymphoid organ is so one it is an uh, the lymph nodes, spleen, liver and the thymus. So here the correct option is thymus because it consists of a central and the peripheral lymphoid organisms. Uh, so central it has a thymus and bone marrow. There is peripheral it has a lymph node, spleen and the malt. So here the correct option will be the thymus that is it is a primary uh, lymphoid organism, uh, organs. Okay. So thank you friends.